On December 20th of 2012, I got the U.S. Postal Service and the Benjamin Franklin Post Office to authorize me to go into the bank book drafts of Benjamin Franklin, open up the glass casing, unlock the bank books of the federal government, where I read his bank drafts where he had borrowed 1.6 million francs from France on July 1st, 1775. For those of you researchers out there, please go to the Benjamin Franklin Post Office, show your knowledge, get them to open the books, and read it for yourself. Federal government and the money when you follow the money for the federal government and the First Continental Congress, it will take you to July 1st, 1775, the first day of government. Nothing becomes law for one year, one day, and there's three-day rescission, which will take you to July 4th, 1776, the day they could enter into contract. So because of that, Benjamin Franklin did not give full closure, to my knowledge, to the founding fathers who authorized the Constitution and the Bill of Rights from 1776, and he lumped the fee for freight for the money that he borrowed into the note, creating a debt for those who engaged in contract on July 4th, 1776. So you had debtors engaging in contract saying, how can a debtor engage in contract for free people? This is an oxymoron. This was part of a bankruptcy ruse that ended in 1999 when you trace back the trails.